What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to set up the RPG 2X10 V2 PA system. As you can see, it comes with an amplifier and two speakers, a stand for each speaker, two microphones with two XLR cables and two mic clips. We also got a pouch for each microphone and mic clip for easy travel and two quarter inch cables for our speakers to connect to the amp. So the first thing we can do is set up our stand. So to do that, we're going to want to loosen this knot here first and we can do that by pulling down on the top of the legs so that they spread out like so. When we have them spread out the way we need, we can just tighten the knob to lock it in place and then set it down on the floor. Once we have them on the floor, we can take out this pin so we can use it later. Then we're going to want to loosen this top knob here so we can extend the top of the stand. And once we pull them up, you'll see these holes here that we can use to secure the height. So once we find a height that we like, we can take our pin and run it through the hole. And when we drop it, you'll see that it won't go down any further because of the pin. Lastly, we'll want to tighten the knob so we lock it all in place. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side here. So once we have our stand all set, we can grab our speakers by the top handle here. And to mount the speakers onto the stand, we're gonna line up the 35 millimeter hole here to the top pole of the stand and just slide it on in like so. Then we're just gonna do the exact same thing for the other speaker on the other stand. Now, if you didn't wanna set up your speakers on the stands, they also have rubber feet, so you can set them up vertically or horizontally on the floor. Now we can connect the speakers to the amplifier by taking the two included quarter inch cables, plug one end into the left quarter inch input on the back of the speakers, then plug the other ends into the quarter inch outputs on the back of the amp. Now let's go ahead and turn the amplifier on. Now we can move on to the microphones. For today, I'm just gonna use one of the mics, but if you wanna set up the second one, you're gonna follow the same exact steps. So I'll just be taking one of the dynamic microphones and one of the XLR cables. I'm gonna plug the female end into the mic, then I'll take the other end and plug it into one of the available channels on my amplifier. For today, we'll use input one. So next, I wanna raise the level knob here on my channel. And to hear everything coming through the amplifier out of the speakers, I'm gonna wanna raise the master knob. And now if I flip the on switch on the microphone, Phone. Check one, two, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speakers. Another really cool thing is that each microphone comes with a mic clip so you can attach it onto any mic stand and have it prop up your microphone. Now we have four channels that we can use on the mixer, so let's go ahead and see what they can do. So as we just went over before, we have the level knob to raise the volume for each channel. We also have a bass and treble knob to adjust the overall sound for each channel. So the bass knob will affect all the low end frequencies coming from the channel, so if I lowered it, check one one, two, check one, two. You won't hear so much body in my voice. And if I raised it, check one, two, check one, two. You'll notice my voice get a little boomier. And now the treble knob will affect all the high end for my channel. So if I lower that, check one, two, check one, two. You won't hear much presence coming from my voice. And if I raised it up, check one, two, check one, two. You'll start to hear it cut through a bit more. Now channels one to three have a quarter inch input so we can connect a line level signal like a synthesizer, instrument, etc. And channel four has this with the RCA input so we can connect any devices like a record player, computer, etc. Each channel also has an echo knob and we can adjust the overall sound of the echo with the echo unit here. So if we take a look at the echo unit, you'll see that we have a level knob to raise the level of the echo throughout. We have the time knob to adjust how long the echo will last and the repeat knob to adjust how many times the voice will echo. So I can play around with the parameters here on the echo unit and then raise the echo knob on whichever channel I want to have echo on. And the more I raise this knob, the more echo you'll hear. We also have a three band EQ to adjust the overall sound coming out of the amplifier. So we have the bass and treble just like we do on the channels that affect the high and the low end. And then we also have the mid knob here to adjust the middle frequencies. Now if we take a look at the master section here, you'll see that we have a quarter inch line in and a quarter inch line out to expand our setup even further. So I can use the line in to receive signal from other devices like a mixer. And I can use the line out if I want to send the signal out from my my amplifier to another speaker, subwoofer, etc. We also have these options available in RCA form so you can receive or send signal out through the RCA line in or line out. 
And if you're using the line ends on the mixer, you'll want to raise the line end knob so that we're hearing the signal come out of the amplifier. We also got the MP3 module and underneath we have the music playback buttons. So we have the pause and play button, the mode button to switch the mode that we want to set the MP3 module to. We also have a repeat button and we have a go back or skip button which also acts as volume controls. We also got an SD and USB input so we can play music off of those devices. And if that's what you want to do, you'll want to be sure to raise the MP3 knob on the bottom of the mixer here. And another cool thing is that the amplifier has Bluetooth compatibility so we can pair our smartphone or tablet. So to do that, I'm going to press the mode button underneath the MP3 module until it reads Bluetooth. Then I can take a smartphone or tablet and go into the Bluetooth settings, search for the device that reads Rockville, click on it to pair, and when you hear that sound, you'll know your device is connected to the amp. Remember, you'll also want to raise the MP3 volume here so we can hear the Bluetooth device coming out of the speakers. So let's hear how it sounds. Oh yeah, very cool. Now this makes for a great karaoke setup because I can connect my smartphone or tablet to the amplifier, go to the YouTube app and search for any karaoke version of a song. Then I can plug in both of my microphones and start singing along to the lyrics that show up on the screen while the music is playing out of the speakers. So on my device I can go into the Bluetooth settings, search for the device that reads Rockville, click on it to pair, and then you'll hear that sound letting you know your device is connected to the amp. And then like I mentioned before, I can go into the YouTube app of my device and search for any karaoke version of the song to start singing along to. So let's sing some karaoke. You can dance, you can jive, having the time of your life. Ooh, see that girl, watch that scene, digging the dancing. Remember, you can use the echo knob on each mic channel to give your voice some extra flair. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RPG 2X10 V2. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.